What's up, family? The city of New Orleans has started the process of removing Confederate monuments. Yeah, it's happening. Now, the first of four monuments to go is one called the Battle of Liberty Place. Now, this monument was erected in honor of the killing of police officers by white supremacists. Let that sink in. You have a monument that represents the killing of police officers in the United States of America that has been standing since 1874. This monument coexists with pro-police advocacy groups who will seek and destroy, who will scrutinize and ridicule and try to intimidate and harass anybody who speaks out against police authority or law enforcement agenda. They allow this monument to stand. Why? I'll tell you why. Because many of the people who support the Confederacy are in the motherfucking police department. That's why. Ain't no secret. Yeah, true story. Now, here's what's telling y'all. They had to use police snipers and position them on nearby rooftops to protect the workers who were removing these monuments because they were under threat by pro-monument groups. They say, we're gonna kill you. They were threatening these people. So they had to remove these monuments in the middle of the night. They're trying to minimize the risk of people being injured or killed. I wish like a motherfucker I would have been one of those snipers. Soon as the first motherfucker jumped up and said, ah, ah, pop, 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 pop. get your ass out of here. I'm gonna get rid of this shit. That's what I would have been doing. Now, I'm gonna tell you what really, really stood out in this article. I came across this woman by the name of Rebecca Carr. She is a teacher, a teacher, y'all, in the New Orleans area. She wrote a piece in the advocacy, and it goes like this. When our Confederate monuments have all been removed, which others are likely to become victims of the crime? If association with slavery denigrates all of one's other contributions to society, then monuments to our founding fathers will surely be next in line for removal. This list includes notables that we have elevated since history class in high school, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Ben Franklin, James Madison, and Patrick Henry. Surely the father of our country must go since Washington owned slaves, although there would be no United States if he hadn't significantly helped us win the Revolutionary War. Jefferson, that most eloquent author of the Declaration of Independence, set forth that all men are created equal, except African Americans, women, and Native Americans. Jefferson transgressed even further by having a child with one of his slaves and then staunchly denied his deed. Joining the list of contradictory personages is James Madison, the father of the Bill of Rights, which of course did not apply to his slaves. Similarly, Patrick Henry of give me liberty or give me death fame did not include his slaves in this notable exhortation. 
Like the founding fathers, our Confederate icons were born into a specific time when the economy depended heavily on profits resulting from slave labor. Interestingly, we have few more qualms about our present day economy that relies heavily on yet another form of slave labor, as is in the case when American companies make soaring profits off laborers in third world countries who work for less than a dollar a day. When our city and country are finally relieved of monuments to those who are suddenly considered morally reprehensible, we will supposedly be at peace, yet will we? Prejudice, racism, and violence toward those who are considered different reside in the heart, not in bronze or marble. Similarly, when our offensive monuments are replaced to honor others deemed more worthy, who is to say that future generations won't find some contradictory moral ambiguity about these persons? I predict that our crane companies have a promising future. This people is a teacher in the New Orleans area. She is shaping young minds and filling their heads with this bullshit about the Confederacy. That's one of their biggest things they like to always talk about. How we're erasing the past and we're going to get rid of it. Well, they ain't got no problem erasing the past with all of these black schools that they've been closing down, including my high school and my middle school that I went to. They don't even exist anymore because they say, well, we're closing them down because they're underperforming. Well, is the goddamn statues underperforming? These are fucking statues. These are, in, 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 these are just fucking objects. These are inanimate objects. They don't do shit but stand and have people who need some type of self-esteem building to feel superior. That's what the damn statues are for. For them to look at and so they can say we're superior and remind them of their superiority and everybody else's inferiority. That's what the damn statues are for. The statues got plenty of meaning. Trust me, they do. It means something to have that shit up there. If it didn't mean anything, they would not have taken Saddam Hussein's statues down. Did y'all remember that? Remember how fast when America took over Iraq? Remember how fast they took, when they took Baghdad? Remember how fast they took that damn Saddam Hussein statue down? And they started destroying everything with Saddam Hussein name in it, including textbooks. They destroyed all street signs, any building that has Saddam name on it. They removed the name. They took his name off of the money. Them motherfuckers know that name does have power. Those statues, that it does have power. If it didn't, they would not have gone to, through the trouble. Trust me, it has power. Now, who's to say that future generations won't remove new statues? The, 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 new, the, the current statues that people find to be morally acceptable. See, here's the thing about society. It is incumbent upon the current society to, if there is a wrong that has been done in the past, to make that wrong right. America has no problem making right the wrongs of others. They have no problem with that. But when it comes to her own shit, she don't want to get that right. She don't want to make that right. It's nothing but excuses, excuses, excuses. You damn right, anything with George Washington's name need to come off. George Washington, James, man, all them motherfuckers. They need to come up, their names need to be removed, their names and faces need to be removed for money also. Get their asses off. I'm tired of looking at them old raggedy ass racist motherfuckers. They need to be done with. Get Take their names off of buildings. Take their names out of the textbooks. Take their, now leave the names in the textbooks, but just tell the truth about who their asses were. But take the names off anything that honors them. Anything that honors them. Take 
take the names off of buildings, statues, take the name off of money, get rid of their asses, blow up Mount Rushmore, blow that shit up. It's time. It's time. That teacher in New Orleans, she works for uh, Tangapoa, uh, Tangapoho Parish School uh, System. Give her a call. Let her know how you feel. Because she wronged in a motherfucker. Well, I feel sorry for the kids, white and black, Hispanic, Asian, whoever the hell she's teaching. I feel sorry for them because they are being fucking poisoned. They're being poisoned. These are the type of corrupt fucking people that we have teaching our children. Got to be real careful. In this type of situation, I get what some of these uh, uh, pan-African uh, people will be saying when they say, man, don't let them teach your kids. I get it. Because you have these type of motherfucking people out there, man, that's ruining these kids' minds. Her job is to teach kids who are performing at levels below that they normally should be performing at. So it makes sense. So she's trying to basically tell us something that she normally would tell her the kids who are underperforming. She teaches special needs kids. So I guess she think all of us are special needs. That shit ain't flying with me, Rebecca. I know who you are. I know what you're about. I've seen you kind before. The monuments, they say, don't have anything to do with uh, racism. It's all about heritage. It's all about the legacy and remembering. It's a damn lie. The monument is just like the flag, the Confederate flag. Wherever that shit is flying, it need to be pulled down and burned and stomped the shit out of. All of that shit. All of it got to go. The statues are a part of depression. It, they represent oppression. They represent uh, the bloodshed of millions of people. The disrespect of millions of people who are just trying to live their life. That, that had their fucking God-given rights trampled over. General Robert Lee, Jefferson Davis, them motherfuckers were terror. They were terrorists. They were traitors. Those are the monuments are also on the chopping block. Robert Lee, Jefferson Davis, them motherfuckers were traitors. They should have been hung, murdered and hung. That's what needed to, should have happened to their ass. Now, I can't remember how they met their demise, but whatever happened, them motherfuckers needed to be hung. They should not be saluted ever. It's like, okay, think about any, think about any terrorist today who goes up. Who, who the hell goes up against the government and get a monument, get, get a statue? They went up against their own government. They should not have monuments. They should not have streets named after them. Them motherfuckers should be that any type of monument or street sign or building should be buried right along with their rotten asses. That's what should happen. They should not be honored. They need to be fucking dishonored. Books are made to teach. Monuments are made to honor. You dig? The racist Confederate flag, racist Confederates, period, don't need to be honored. Yo, if you like the videos I'm bringing to you, Make sure you join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more comments. No more talk. What, what the lady's talking about. Damn. Order protection.